Buzzing with Asar, a day in the life of bees, read by Asar. A bee named Asar is buzzing around in, in search of food. Busy day today, we need to find food and build our hive too. Hello Asar. Hi Bunny. Are you ready to work together? Absolutely. It's another jam-packed day for the bees. How do they do it? By sharing the load, of course, each one has their expertise. Some bees are clever nectar and pollen collectors. Other bees are handy bees for building and repairing the hive. Some bees dance and wag with a purpose. They point to where the best pollen and nectar are or warn the, the other bees were of danger. All bees live together as a colony. Their home is called a hive. Each room has six sides. They build cell-like rooms in the shape of hexagons. Together, these are called honeycombs. Their leader is the queen bee. Her main job is to lay lo a lot of eggs. The queen relies on the support of worker bees as she makes the next generation of the colony. Each worker bee has a specific role inside the honeycomb. They care for eggs sto and store pollen and nectar. Back outdoors, Asal and Benny collect nectar. Can you guess what it's for? They work together to fan their wings. This evaporates the water from the nectar and it becomes golden honey. Asan and Benny took a rest and observed other animals. Do you know other animals that form groups together to survive like the bees? They saw mole rats who also lived in large underground communities. They said hello to the ants. They also, they too have special roles for their colony survival. We have collected enough nectar for today, Asal. That's right. Time for us to head home, Benny. Brain break! What can you say about the life of bees? What parts can you relate to? Bees and animals around them live in communities. What is it like in your community? The end.